Hello everyone, welcome to Platform 32 and happy No Man's Sky VR day. It's finally here. I remember when No Man's Sky first came out and I was like, oh man, I wish this was coming out on PlayStation VR. It's probably one of the first things I said about it and it finally is. Uh, so yeah, today I'm going to be doing a slightly extended P32 stream uh, of uh, No Man's Sky VR so I can give you my first impressions. If you've looked on my Twitter feed already, you may have seen some of my first impressions already, uh, saying the game is very blurry, and I'm not the only one to have noticed that. This game, something's up with it um, at the moment. I'm playing on PlayStation 4 Pro with a Gen 1 headset, um, but I've seen reports from people on standard PS4s uh, and people with Gen 2 headsets and stuff, all saying that this game is rather blurry. you also got to apologise apologize for the, uh, the way the green screen isn't really working around my headset today. I don't know why. Normally the green screen works around my headset, but have the lights got brighter? Who knows? Uh, so I've got a bit of a, a fuzz around my head because the blue lights from the headset are, uh, are setting off the green screen uh, weirdly. But yeah, I'm going to be playing through for the next however long it takes to see, uh, you know, to get my first impressions. And I haven't really played No Man's Sky since it came out. I played it for about a month or so and then like just kind of forgot about it because it wasn't the game I really wanted when it launched. And now I think it might be. So I'm going to be starting a brand new uh, save, starting from the very beginning. I'm going to be playing with DualShock 4 and Move controllers at the moment. Um, I think I'm going to start with the DualShock 4 because um, my one of my move controllers is out of batteries, so I've just got to I've got to charge that up first. So uh, yeah, I'm going to be jumping into VR any second now. But first, I should probably do some shout outs, say hello to people because I won't be able to read comments while I'm inside the VR of No Man's Sky. So let's see who's here. We've got 133 people joining us, so I better kick off in a second but we've got Offworld, Alan Pope, Alex Samaras, Andrew Steenat, Fruitback, Carl Noakes, Casey, Chris, Crafty, Colin Gaming, Krusty Juggler, UK, D-Note 25, Gareth, Gavin, UK 86, Jack Parkinson, Justin McKnight, Carl Richardson, Mamrez, Nightcat, Pair of Eight, Silver, Richard, Sebastian Blanco, Sergeant Hamster, Sir so Y, SPG1987, Stephen Rance, Terrible Beat, The Sarge773, Thompson77, Trash Wolf, McGrawl, Vandal, Victor Invictus, and Wabzillis are all chatting at the moment. So welcome to you and welcome to all the 141 of you watching uh let's get me into vr so yeah even from the start of the game um when it's kind of at the moment it's not vr it's flat but even this here is blurry for me um you know it's definitely not the way my headset is set up or anything there's something something's not quite right at the moment which probably means they need to do another big patch but uh, I'm gonna play a game uh, and I'm gonna start a new save so there was a save I did earlier I think no that's the save I did earlier 48 minutes to test things out but it's really hard to read the text here it's it's very very wobbly um, and I don't know what what can be done about that really uh, I'm gonna go to new game I start a new game and I'm going to go on to normal and see what I can do. Now, I did play this game at a preview event, a Sony preview event in New York. I played it for about 10 minutes. I was demoed it by Sean Murray himself, Mr. No Man's Sky, um, the head of Hello Games. And it was really, sh the, the graphics were great. It was nice and sharp. I didn't notice any kind of um, fuzziness or blurriness. Uh, it's unlike. There was no problem with looking into the distance. It looked beautiful. It looked pretty much like the game you play flat screen, but, you know, a little bit lower resolution as it normally does. The crucial thing is it wasn't as blurry as it is at the moment. Um, I presume this is just going to be launch woes and that they're uh, probably, well, I don't know. Maybe they're not right away hard at work on a patch. They're probably just having some whiskeys now that the... Uh, the game update is up and running finally, uh, but I would not be surprised if they, um, if Hello Games, get a patch out to try and sort this out because uh, there was 
other games have had problems with the PlayStation Pro. Um, other PSVR games have had problems with the PlayStation Pro. And they ha- some have been fixed, like Red Matter looks awesome nowadays on PlayStation Pro. Others haven't, like Abduction, that hasn't been fixed, that still looks blurry. I've lost connection to the online services. Well, Ducky's online playing this, so I've definitely, uh, I'm definitely still online. <coughs> so here we are. We are here. We've awoken on this alien planet. E, the colours are uh, nice and bright and green, but uh, like if I look down the floor, everything's quite, everything's nice and sharp. But then anything about from about a meter in front of me starts getting blurry to a point where the trees and stuff are kind of weird flickery blobs in the background that mountain looks okay but it is blurry uh the text here is fine um it just it, it, it feels like uh i don't know <laughs> i'm not really sure it, it's just it's noticeably soft the focus um and it just wasn't when i did the preview um it was perfect when i did the preview so uh yeah a little bit worried about how this might put people off playing in VR um, but you know it's not giving me a headache or anything it's just I just wish it was sharper at the moment so how's things everyone good um, seems like audio's fine and everything uh, so yeah we're good okay right so yeah I'm starting from the very beginning so first I need to uh, press L3 to do a scan Oh, my scanner's damaged. Doll. Uh, and yeah, I'm playing with the DualShock 4 at the moment. Uh, in about, I don't know, half an hour or so, I'll switch to show you the move controllers uh, and how they work. So, scanner. I need to find some ferrite dust. And to do that, I need to gather ferrite dust for repairs, it says there. So, uh, let's go and use R2. There's my multi-tool. So, my multi-tool attaches to... My dual shot four there. You can see the virtual handles, uh, and I kind of you know gripping it in the middle. And uh, I just need to uh, I need to mine some ferrite dust. So there we go. Dust is all coming in towards me. It's all popping in. You can see all the particle effects work pretty well. Uh, everything that comes towards you is nice, and uh, it, there's no flickering or anything. Um, you get the the nice kind of smoke and light effects that come off this red beam that all sort of it's it sort of works nicely but again it has that blur especially at a distance but you know tracking is great on the PlayStation 4 DualShock so uh, we're just going to go and mine some ferrite dust I've nearly got enough I need 75 so I need to find another little rock to blow up that's, that's a, oh that's an that's a there we go some ferrite dust inside a plant yoink so repair scanner damage next uh, look here's here's the view this view is it's very blurry i'm not gonna lie it's very blurry it's not it's not impacting um the performance of the game or like the kind of explorational joy you'll get but it is it is impacting just the visual fidelity of things. Um, so anyway, I need to press this to access my multi-tool. And I need to repair my scanner. And that is the damaged scanner part that is repaired. We technology prepared. So Okay, so scan to locate sodium. Next with L3. Uh, sodium is NA. There's some sodium. Uh, there's some sodium that's kind of closer. R3 to run. Uh, lots of people were asking me if this game has smooth locomotion because in my preview it only really showed uh, and I only talked about teleporting because at the uh, PlayStation preview the teleporting was on um, as standard because you know everyone has a different uh, threshold for movement in VR. Uh, I've turned all the comfort settings off, so I've got smooth turn, no vignettes, 
um, and you know no uh, no teleporting but you can do that if you prefer a little bit of a smoother ride I've just pulled up a sodium full plant there and now uh, I need to recharge my hazard protection because we're on a bit of a hazardous planet and uh, my protection is running down a bit so charge hazard protection with sodium there we go so I've recharged my suit a bit oh look we so when I first started playing No Man's Sky there was none of these spaceships flying around again like they look like about they look like potatoes flying through the sky. I'm sure in 2D they would look, you know, nice and sharp and crisp. Um, it's like I've I've got cataracts. <laughs> right, what am I doing? Reach the marked signal point, which is this way. So scanned for a little bit. There's some more hydrogen fuel. There's a sodium-rich plant. So let's have a little yoink of this on the way. When this first came out, this game. Uh, I really enjoyed it for the first like month or so, and it, I got, I, I reached a point where I felt like I was just going through the motions of harvesting and flying around and stuff, and there wasn't too much of a story. Now, but like, there've been some big updates since. Uh, they've added like multiplayer. They've added crafting. They've added terrain deformation and construction so you can make your own bases or you can use a tool to dig into the ground or build mountains and things. There's so much more to see and do here. Uh, but I was I was always kind of tempted to go back but I wanted to... Hey, there's a little monstery thing. I always wanted to go back but I was waiting for VR. So he's, he's scared of me. He's run off. I haven't got any creature pellets anyway. One of the things I've added to this build, which PJ will be very happy about, my mate PJ who plays PUBG with me, because he's a farmer, he'll be very happy to know that they've added animal milking to this game. So not only can you ride animals in this game now, you can you can get mounts, you can put saddles on them and mount them. You can also milk them. I don't know how you go about milking the animals yet, but... Uh, I'm well up for finding out. At some point, I need some uh, some emergency milking gloves, though. So look, look at all this crazy wildlife, uh, some ferrite dust and stuff. Just the waking up on the world like this uh, is pretty cool, but I'm not getting the sense of like exploration and the sense of size and wonder that uh, you get. Once you finally lift off to space and start exploring new planets. At the moment, this is very much like a tutorial thing. This tutorial thing didn't really exist when um, the game first came out either. There was a basic tutorial, but it kind of dumped you somewhere and kind of almost made you figure it out for yourself. Things are a little bit more um, handholdy now. Looks like it's getting a little bit darker. Day-night cycle going on in this planet, perhaps. Uh, so I've just opened up a beacon. Uh, something about anomaly containment prepared. I'm going to broadcast because why not, huh? Broadcast received. Traveller anomaly detected. Anomaly is compliant. Position log. System integrity scan initialized. There's my spaceship, by the way. Looks like it's got a volcano for a hat. So perhaps that's not great. Uh, turn the light on or is that off? I'll turn it back on again. Night time, there's some damaged machinery here. Can I repair the casing? I need pure ferrite, so I can't repair that yet. Some things to schnaffle. That needs an Atlas Pass to schnaffle. Uh, I can search this box. Uh, I don't think I got anything out of that. There's some other things to loot here. What's that? Rusted metal. I'll, I'll take it. I'll store it on my uh, store it in my suit, I guess. Uh, again, I'll take this on my suit. I think I got that. Looking at things and uh, picking things up 
is kind of weird. You, it, you kind of just stand near them rather than like looking at them. You've got no some some PSVR games have like a little reticle or something, so you know where you're looking. Um, this kind of just it's not done via your controller either so this circle thing here I don't know what the point of that is because it's kind of off to the left but um oh it looks like I didn't get that out there we go uh, so yeah it kind of uh, picking things up is just standing in the right place mainly rather than pointing at things at the moment I think that's different for the dual shocks but like I said Got to wait for mine to charge up a little bit more before I start doing them. Here's my spaceship. It's big. I mean, it looks kind of, probably looks quite small to you lot. It's, you know, it's a little stubby spaceship. It's nothing to be, it's nothing to write home about. But, um, you know, for me, it looks big and chunky, solid, uh, and pretty, pretty kind of tall. Now I'm inside my ship. I press square to get inside the ship. Uh, we got a message here. Message text is pretty sharp, but all the text on the ship where it says Higtown 32, it's very blurry again, unless I kind of get a bit closer. Same with the instruments on the ship. That text there, that text there, all very blurry. Um, almost unreadable because of its smudginess. I mean, if I didn't know that my, nick my gamer tag was Higtown 32, I'd be like, what's that to say? So yeah, um, quite blurry inside the cockpit as well, unfortunately. Not blurry if I look straight down like this or look at the back of my seat. I mean, it still is a bit blurry. It's not. It's nowhere near as sharp um, as, you know, things like Resi 7 or um, Red Matter, whereas or Red Matter is like one of my go-to things for like good-looking PSVR games. I like the sheen on this ship metal though it's kind of looks a little bit fingerprinty and dirty that's really like a nice effect i love to be able to look out the cockpit and see the spinning turbine of the jet engine there or whatever you know whatever bloody engine it is uh, you know you've got all this stuff behind to look at uh, so you know it's pretty cool i'm just going to adjust my microphone in case i'm battering it uh, it's just yeah it could do with someone adjusting the focus a bit Launch thrusters offline, pulse engine offline. I find myself alone on a strange world, unequipped and in danger. I have no memory of how I got here, no sense of a before. But this ship at least seems to recognize me. The controls react to my touch, or at least to that of my exosuit. I am not dead yet, and this ship is a lifeline out to the stars. So, uh, let's, well, I don't know, connect exosuit. So, I've connected my exosuit. There's, uh... Substituting data. Exosuit. Beep boop. Connected. Suggestion. Pilot should perform maintenance. Select desired repair path. Let's repair the ship systems, shall we? Self-guided repair protocols. Initiated. Okay, so my pulse engine is critically damaged. I need to repair the hermetic seal and the metal plating. So to do that, I think I'm going to have to get out of the ship per pulse engine so yeah first thing I need to do is get some metal plating so I need to collect more ferrite dust to craft metal plating so that's B to get out of the spaceship when you're using uh, move controllers you grab like one of the handles on the spaceship and that like lifts you out of the ship do, do, do. Uh, Okay. All right, everyone's good. Sweet, sweet. Okay, let's go and find some ferrite dust. Let's head over here. I've got my jetpack. It's not the um, the most powerful jetpack in the world. I can't go for very long with it. Oh, what's this? Search some health. Health at maximum. Search and search. That is some more rusted metal. I'll take it. There we go. I think I think that got it. See, I'm a little bit confused about how to pick things out of crates at the moment. Well, I did. I got a little bit confused earlier. I think I've got it now. 
So let's just uh, yeah melt these space dongs. That looks like I've got enough. Yeah, I've got enough ferrite dust, so I need to press that to access my inventory. I need to go into this empty slot here. Um, Starship is out of range. Okay. Oh, it's oh, it got night very quickly, didn't it? So I can hear myself walking, but there's a weird... I don't know if... There's like a weird swiping noise. Sounds like... that. I think that might be an audio bug. Sounds like something's... Trying to get me occasionally. Uh, right. So, craft product. We want to craft the metal plating. And then if we go to the... Pulse engine, I can add the metal plating. So that's good. What's the next what's the next job? Partially complete. Board the starship and consult the diagnostics. Okay, we're back in. Bleep 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 bloop robots. Critically damaged, vital ingredients missing, unable to synthesize required components. Pulse engine requires a hermetic seal. Let's request some assistance then. Recommendation. Uh, seems like there's a hermetic seal nearby. Salvage planetary chart from distress beacon cache. Okay. So, here we go. Here's the distress beacon. Here inside the beacon's housing, as well as its distress broadcast unit, it contains a planetary chart. Oh, how did I miss that the first time? Huh? So I've got my planetary chart now. Um, now I need to open the inventory, check out the chart, and plot the route. Okay, so it's that way, straight ahead. Uh, we've got a little bit of a nighttime mission on this creepy, creepy planet. Let's hope we don't run into any beasties. How far are we? Oh, that plant spooged me. Big kind of cloud, or is that like rings of another planet over there in the distance? Let's take that sodium rich plant. Have a little bit of a run. You've got stamina in this game. As you can see, the stamina is recharging now after I did a bit of a run. You also have the jetpack, but that also has limited use. I was wondering whether that would fall damage me or not, if it didn't. So I'm uh, 600 U away from this ship at the moment. So I better get a better get a shift on. That's a oh no, it's an impressive erection. So there's an incoming storm, but what is what's that there? Sodium rich plant again. Let's get some of that. Is this a. I thought that was a, a structure, but because it's so blurry, um, it turns out it was just a rock with some mushrooms rather than a, a nice structure. Dihydrogen crystals. Seek shelter in caves or buildings. Charge your hazard protection with sodium. So it looks like the radiations are definitely going up. Quite fast, quite fast. Um, my... I think that radiation... I think the orange thing is my shield. And my health is the white bar, which is going down faster than the shield. Nuts. I hope I can find a shelter somewhere. Oh, there's the... Actually, I'm right by the building now. So, let's... Come on. Hopefully I can last long enough to get into the shelter. It is very, very misty and it's like it's like an English summer out here. Maybe there's some time to loot. Quick transfer to the suit. Uh, search. Condensed carbon. Ooh, got some condensed carbon. Nice. Right, let's keep going. Uh, health is still dropping. The rads aren't too high at the moment. I think they've made it a little bit easier for people when they start in this game now. Because when I first started, the first start I had on No Man's Sky, I started on a like a 
super radioactive planet with like acid rain and like, I just got stuck and I couldn't, couldn't go anywhere. Uh, okay, right, we're safe. We're safe, we're sealed. Searching the plants, got some more carbon. Uh, getting right up close. Still a bit soft, but you can see the details a bit more. It's a nice blanket over that table. What are we looking at? An hollow archive. Hollow! Accessing archive. Six out of seven logs follows. Uh, uh, corrupted even. No one making this recording in case leaving behind in the fabricator might be of some use. Visor damaged. Can't find ship. So recover supplies. Log finishes and the machine whirs to life, spitting out supplies. I have the hermetic seal I need to repair my ship. Whoever it was that led me here, whatever, whoever left this message, perhaps they found themselves in the same situation as I do now. So, got the hermetic seal. Now I just need to trek back to the ship. Is it still bad weather outside? No, it's cleared up a bit. It has cleared up a bit. Use analysis visor L2 to locate Starship. Oh, okay. So I need to fix my analysis visor, I think, with some carbon nanotubes. Right, how do carbon nanotubes? Uh, begin visor analysis installation. Gather and craft visor components. Okay, open the inventory. And install... What are we doing? Install technology. The analysis visor. So we're going we're gonna to build that. And I need the carbon nanotubes, which I don't have. The components are missing. It looked like there was something else there as well. Bolt caster. It's a gun, that. I built it, but I can't, can't use it yet. But it's there. It's ready to be used. So, what next game? Gather carbon. Do I not have carbon? Yeah, I've got loads of carbon. All right, craft carbon nanotubes. So, again, inventory, empty slot. Craft product, carbon nanotubes. Build. Nice. Can I craft another? No, can't craft another. So, we've crafted the carbon nanotubes. Finalize installation. So, into the multi tool, install technology, carbon nanotubes. Done. Okay. Analyze objects for rewards. Whoop. Test analysis visor L2. Yeah, there it is. Uh, how do I to analyze a target? Okay, so when I move, that really jiggles around. That I don't know if that's meant to move like that when you move. In fact, the the UI on on this scanner is really Surely it's not meant to do that. I mean, maybe you're only supposed to scan stood still, but even when you move the controller, it's a little bit weird. It doesn't, the text doesn't stay in a box properly. I'm gonna try and scan this plant anyway. It's a V Glumistrus. Uh, uh, so that's good. Now I need to return to my starship. It's this way. So now we can see when I'm scanning, I can see lots of rewards. That is a. So what's this? This is like a cactusy thing. A pulpy roots. I don't really know what that is. So it's harvestable. Let's harvest that. I've got some stuff from it. Let's, uh, let's head back. As we're heading back, I'll just have another look at the comments and see how it's going. Do, do, do. When I move, that really juggles your hands as I'm all. Oh, naughty. Uh, so, we got 195 people watching us play right now. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Platform 32. I am playing No Man's Sky in VR from the beginning. Uh, giving you my first impressions and my critical analysis uh, of the game. Uh, it's basically exactly the same game you know and love from before but with loads more extra additions my main concern at the moment is the fact that visually playstation vr is really 
really blurry. It's uh, not unplayably blurry, but it definitely, definitely robs the game of um, that otherworldly beauty that um, a lot of players play this game for. It's night time at the moment. So, you know, it's not as bright and nice as it was when I first started this game. So things are a bit gloomy. But, um, you know, the skies up there, the clouds going through the sky, they are very smudgy. Um, they just look like someone's, like, splodged some chewing gum on the screen. It's, the stars are fuzzy. They're not, like, bright pinpoints in the sky. Um, and the distance is just like a... A, a splat. So yeah, the um, it's my biggest disappointment so far with the VR update is uh, visually it's not great um, because of this blurring going on. And it's surprising this has happened. It's surprising me a lot because I actually played this game at a preview event in New York, and you can watch my uh, first impressions of that preview event uh, on youtubecom forward slash Eurogamer in my Ian's VR Corner segment. Uh, and I didn't mention anything about blurriness in that because it just wasn't blurry. It looked fantastic and I had an amazing time. Um, so, fingers crossed, it can get fixed and patched. Some big old bits of pop in there though. But, but um, this game probably had pop in before. It's been a while. Ow! Oh, that, I can't believe that. It's the second time that exact same plant jizzed on me. Kill the plant. I got my revenge. Got my revenge. <laughs> Alrighty. So, recharge mining beam, huh? Mining beam. Charge. With carbon or condensed carbon? Does it matter? Repair the pulse engine. Activate and press. Okay, what? Hold on a minute. Why did it tell me to... How do you change your mining laser? Why did it tell me to... Fix my mining laser? Recharge mining beam. Mining beam. What? Okay, recharge. Mining beam. Condense carbon. Okay, now repair the pulse engine. Access Starship Inventory. There's the pulse engine. Uh, hermetic seal. That is repaired. Okay. Nice. So, now I need to fix my launch thrusters. I need to, it requires dihydrogen jelly and pure ferrite to repair. So I need to construct a portable refiner to process pure ferrite. Um, so, craft dihydrogen jelly. I've got dihydrogen. So that's good. Um, how did I... All the, oh, God. I'm pressing all buttons that I don't know what they do now. Okay. Open the inventory. Use X to craft some jelly. There we go. Grease the launch thruster with dihydrogen jelly. So that, I've got that. So I can put the dihydrogen jelly. I've greased that up good and proper. Gave it an excellent greasing there. Uh, now I need to get pure ferrite. So I need to gather some more ferrite dust first. How do you find your mining laser? I thought I... Alright, what is this? I don't know what these things do. Select material. Ah, okay, this is what I was looking for. This is a summon freighters. No, that's not what it was. I 
Okay, I don't know how I get my mining thing up yet. Screw it. Let's stop getting ahead of myself. Let's get some ferrite dust. I need 50. Burn! <coughs> I loved the I lo like one of the things I really loved when I was playing this at the preview event was mining into the rocks and like finding caverns and exploring those. So that's why I'm so keen to like get the mining laser going. But I expect it will tell me how to do that in a bit. Here we go. Just uh, shatter these space dongs. Okay, I think I'm good. Craft metal plating. Done. Construct a portable. Oh, now I need to gather oxygen. There's some up there. Anything closer? Here's some. An oxygen rich plant. Do I harvest it? I do. There we go, that's enough oxygen. Now I need to access the build menu with up on the D pad, but let's go and get a bit closer to my ship for this. So, up on the D-pad. Ah, there we go, look. Now, now we've got the thing. And I can ch Oh, these change its colour. Okay. Let's give it a... Let's give it a white and orange look. And place with R2. So, there we go. That is my refiner that's been built. So, now I'm going to bring... Start refining the fuel supply unit. I need to charge that with some carbon. I'll put in some of that carbon. That'll do... Input and it's the ferrite, I think, goes in there. And then we begin the process. It's going to take five seconds to do it all. Two, one. Nice. And then we quick transfer the pure ferrite into the starship. Return. Repair the launch thrusters in the inventory. So there's the launch thrusters. This is very menu-y at the moment. We will be very soon, we will be flying into space. So don't worry about that. This is all just tutorializing how to craft and stuff. There's a lot of stuff to know in this game. It's, it's, uh, it's pretty... Um, the survival mechanics are very intense. There's a lot of stuff to learn and um, work out. Especially now, it's so much more. There's so much more to the game now than when I first played it. Okay, I think the ship is functioning, so we're we're going to be able to take off in a second. All systems are functional. Seek answers among the stars. Use R2 to take off. You ready, everyone? Let's have a look. Looks like everybody's ready. So here we go. R2 to take off. No, R2. And we're off, we're flying. Just gonna slow us right down now for a nice gentle uh, scoot across the surface. Now this is just so cool, being able to like lean around the cabin, like look at the, the you know, the mountains going by, like you can see like the perspective of the, like the wing match the mountain. It's really cool. It's, you know, there's stuff down there that I could probably go and have a yoink in if I wanted to. Uh, the cockpit of the ship gives you like a grounding point, so it's not making me feel nauseous. I think this might make people feel nauseous though if they don't play much VR. We can do a barrel roll, you see. Um, I actually felt a little bit squiffy when I played this at the press event um, because I was using the dual shocks to control, and it works a bit like a hot ass stick, a hot ass stick. Um, but yeah, it made, I don't know, it lurched my stomach a bit when I when I took off using the hotel, uh, using the move controls. No problem with that here. So uh, let's accelerate a little bit and um, I guess head up into space. We've been on this planet for long enough, haven't we? And there's a, it looks like there's a whole galaxy above us. Let's point ourselves upwards. Wee! Oh, shit, son. That's cool as fuck. Up we go, into the space. And we are in space. We're in the Rupayim system. And I have discovered this. 
Should I be naming these things? That planet is very close to the planet I was just on. Uh, how do you name things? Discoveries, let's have a look. So this is the Rupium Galaxy. Is that the planet? So let's uh, let's rename and upload. So let's call this Platform 32. Ploppy Poops. Let's call this Platform 32. Uh, no, let's just call it Platform 32. Screw it. Um, and then this planet. Upload. Oh, no. Name and upload. I'm going to call this Higton Land. It's like Mario Land, but much more filthy. So there we go. Higton Land. What? Why is that not? Why did that not? Why can't I? Robbed. I've been robbed. Well, at least the galaxy's called Platform 32. Even if... Uh, I think maybe I pressed upload too quickly or something. Uh, all right, never mind. Right, well, Discovery is uploaded. We've named a thing. Let's go further into space. That is... Planet is casting quite a shadow. It's a bit glitchy. Um, the way that shadow's cast across the rings, I don't know. Ooh. Let's shoot some of these things. So, I need to test the uh, starship systems. Boost with circle. Oh, that's very... Oh, that was very flickery and, like, weird then. Uh, so I need to hold L1 and R1 to test my pulse engines. Here we go, engaging pulse engines. Whee! Whoop, whoop. Okay, that planet isn't clipping through the my planet. It was just at a weird distance. I've got an incoming message. Let's answer the communicator by pressing down. Okay, incoming transmission source. Please identify yourself. I'm... I'm going to identify myself. I'm Ian. You're not alone. Follow the... The broadcast ends as strange as it began. The final piece of the signal appears to be a set of planetary coordinates. So let's input the, those coordinates, which are going to now show on my map. I need to uh, need to head towards this red symbol. It's a shame it's not on that planet. What the? What are those lines? Are those like shipping routes or something? It wants me to go back to the planet I came from. But... I mean, oh, what, what, are these, what are these weird lines? These asteroids are very creepy. Boom. We're going to see what these lines are. Maybe they're shipping lanes or something. I don't remember there being lines in space last time I played this game, that's for sure. So yeah, definitely have to go back to the original planet. Slow down a bit. Yeah, I think that... Oh, there's a lot... Oh, there's some weird flickering going on there as well. Look at that. Uh, so yeah, hmm. You know, these lines come from the planets. They go to that blue, like, oceany looking one over there. I think that must be shipping lines. Right. Right, let's head over here anyway. Oh, fucking hell. That's... Jesus Christ. That's doing my... That's doing my tits in. Yikes. Stop that flickering. Right, stop the flickering once I got a bit closer. Oh, it wasn't on my planet. It's a separate planet. It's like a moon, an unknown moon. That wizard comes from the moon. So here we go. We're heading straight in. Locked onto that source. 
Now we're flying straight down onto this planet. Lovely pinks and oranges and yellows and blues and purples here. Such lovely colours. We're initiating a planetary approach. Through that, going through that cloud was pretty cool. Let's uh, perhaps level out a little bit. Pretty barren. Let's uh, scan this. Wait, what is that scanning? No. That's a big, big rock. It's like that thing from 2001, A Space Odyssey. So yeah, we just, oh, there's a house over there, but the signal is coming from just below. So let's land with square. That's the big planet I started from over there. Oh, there's a cave. Okay, so we are landing down. Square to get out of the spaceship. Okay, nice. We are in Wintergei. Hmm. Let's change that. Oh yeah, Higtonland's changed, finally. Let's call this one... Uh, ooh, Ian Oppo. Ian Oppo. Less. Ianopolis. There we go. That will do. Welcome to Ianopolis, friends. That's uploading, I'm sure. So, name the discovery. Again, Ianopolis. Pretty blurry, not gonna lie. Let's save and chart, though. Boop, boop. You've discovered Kutumu Heath, huh? I don't have an Atlas Pass. I don't know where you get them from. Let's have a search of that. Nothing found. Uh, search this. Some more rusted metal. I don't know what use rusted metal is. Let's go and check out this, and then maybe we should try out some move controls, right, friends? So, the spiking wires of the machine generate a signal, tapping out its broadcast to the void. Whoever left this message is long gone. Let's decipher the signal. Decoding. Decoding. Uh, no fueling for to reach station. Hazard protection low, no choice but to underground. Deployed base computer. As well as log entry, the signal contains plans for a base computer and a terrain manipulator. Ah, oh, that's the—that's th what I was looking for, not the mining tool, the terrain manipulator. I got really confused earlier, if you weren't watching, because I was like, why can't I mine into the ground? But, yeah, it's the terrain manipulator I need, which I'll be getting from perhaps in this tunnel? In there, in there somewhere. With any of that, the base computer will hold more information about whoever is leaving these messages. So let's extract the plans. So I've got some new building parts. Uh, a base computer. Base in the place computer. Select the terrain manipulation mission in the log and then mine copper to build things. Okay. Options, terrain manipulation, so that's that. The terrain manipulator is a multi-tool upgrade. It allows the mining of valuable ores direct from the earth. The terrain manipulator reshapes the world, digging tunnels or creating new land masses. Okay, right, let's see about doing some move control rings. I wonder if I have to turn off my um, it's too too half charged. Okay, I think maybe I need to turn off my dual shock power. No, what was it? Sound and device. No, no, definitely not. Sound and devices. Turn off device. Dual shock four. Okay, any 
Any... Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. I've got some hands. Yay. All right. Now, I don't really know the buttons here. How do I get rid of... I seem to be stuck on scan mode. So it's turn right and left. So let's turn on that one. Survey device required. How do I turn this bloody thing off then? Oops. I think this might be a bug. run out of buttons to press. Oh, hold on. Oh, the start did something. Okay. Back. 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 Oh no, it's going left to right across the menus. Okay. Reset the VR view. How do you get out? Start again. There we go. Okay, that was some kind of weird glitch, but it's sorted itself out now. So, uh, I think is it triangle? Yeah, triangle is like jetpack. Oh, wow. There's like a cave here. Uh, move forward is move stick. And you can... It doesn't let you go backwards. How, how do you go backwards? Maybe that, maybe you just have to turn. So left button, left move button moves you. And then you turn with either your head or the bottom two buttons on here. Jump like so. So I need to install the terrain manipulator anyway. Open the inventory with whatever that button is. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Start. Nope. Is it start on this one? Nope. Uh, nope. No. 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 No, no. <laughs> oh dear. Nice gloves though. Nice and sharp in focus when you get them right up close to your face. Open the inventory with like a diamond button with dots on it. Square? No. X? No. Circle? No. Triangle? No. Trigger? No. Options? No. Square? No. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Uh, what? What fucking button is it? <laughs> Hold up left hand. Hold up left hand, hold right hand to left hand to open inventory menu. What the fuck? That's not what it says on here. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Bloody hell. That was a pain in the ass. Right, uh, select a multi-tool slot. And install technology. Fucking hell. Oh, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. There we go. Okay. Now I need to scan to locate dihydrogen. Point at the rear of your multi tool. Ah, okay. What is dihydrogen? Is 
some magnetized ferrite over there, but oxygen. Maybe we'll go down. We'll have a look in the tunnel, right? Can't do. What's, what are you? Yum yum. Cave marrow. Yeah, so I think using the move controllers is definitely not as intuitive as using the dual shot. Movement is intuitive, but there's a lot of a lot of finickety button pushing going on. Gather dihydrogen to make jelly. Four out of forty. I'm under I'm I'm right underground now. What are you? Are you a thing? That's a marrow bulb. That's cobalt. Why does my scanner take so long to... There's hydrogen up there. Oh, there's... Okay. Let's go. Let's go up there. I think that's... I think that's what we need. Up, up above. Jetpacking is quite cool. Uh, it's not making me feel nauseous or anything. But you get these um, vibrations, some force feedback in the dual shocks, which uh, give you a little bit of a feeling of, of thrusting. Again, it's just ferrite dust, is it? Is it? I thought it was up here. Well, there's a little, a little blobby thing there. Here we go. Is this going to be it? It's blue stuff. That's a big mountainy thing. Down there. Down here we go. All right, there we go. Dihydrogen crystals. Nice. Found them. Come here, my little dihydrogen babies. Get in my belly. Get in my belly. All of you and you. Come on. I want it all. Arr. 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 See? There we go. Have I got enough? I've got enough. Okay. Locate the crystal. The locate the crystal fragment in the inventory. Yeah, there's the crystal fragment. What does it want me to do? Craft dihydrogen jelly. Dihydrogen jelly. Okay. Install a terrain manette player. Craft carbon nanotubes too. Nanotube. Nanotube. The menus kind of overlap a bit, which is a bit wibble wobbly. So I need more carbon. Okay. Fine. Return. Left trigger. There we go. So, scan. Carbon. Where are you, carbon? Lovely, lovely moon. Can you see that? Weirdly, that looks quite close to me, that that um, planet. Doesn't... It doesn't seem as... Things don't seem as distant as they did on flat. Gassy pod. That's going to give me oxygen, not carbon. Support. Let's recharge some life support. Let's recharge that. Hmm. What the? F All right. Look at this little thing. He 
don't know how to do my um, scanning and naming thing now. There we go, carbon in the trees. I can't remember how much carbon I needed, but there's a shitload here. Boom. Oh, I've got 138, that's plenty. Alright, so. Quick menu, no. Uh, oh god, what was it? Inventory. There. Another carbon, what's it? Okay, install the terrain manipulator components. So, that's on the multi-tool. Terrain manipulator. Installed. Installed. Okay. Completed. Oh, it's getting night time. Spooky. Ah, okay, I have the terrain manipulator right in my hand. So one of these buttons digs holes. And one of the something makes them grow again. Gather copper deposits. Use analysis visor to locate deposits. Raise your left hand behind your head. Oh, I can't turn it off again. There we go. Oh, okay. So, so what are we looking for? Copper deposits, I think, wasn't it? Maybe this big mountain. Uh, it's a little living poo poo. Okay, so that behind the back of my head. Okay, well, let's keep going. Makes a very weird noise. Let's go and head on over to this big fucking whatever it is. Wait, what was that saying there? Locate crystal fragment in the inventory and then analyze it. Where's the crystal fragment when it's at home? Crystal fragment. Analyze. Okay, what's that what's that done? Oh. <laughs> How do you run now? It's a lot more to think about when you're using the move controllers. What's that there? Hazardous flora. Unidentified plant. Knowledge stone. Unidentified mineral. Paraffin deposit. Damaged machinery. Ferrite. Star bramble. Ain't seen any copper here. Hey, copper! make it up. Oh, mm, that's carbon. I knew that. Let's make a big hole through here. Look at this. This is cool. Mining like this in VR is pretty awesome. Silica powder. Okay, I don't think I'm getting anything that I need from here, but... Gather copper. 
kind of make it through to the other side. If anyone ever comes to this planet, they'll they'll see my uh, they might be able to find my hastily crafted tunnel. There we go. Blah! It's like I've been born again. Okay, impulse beams. That's an unidentified mineral. Or maybe I had to scan it. Oh, okay, no, that's that's ass ass mooning night. What about you? Maybe you're copper. Shimmerite. Puff. Uh. Ooh, spaceships. Oh, maybe these. Maybe this is copper. Nope, oh, carbon. Shimmerite, shimmerite. Shimmer shite, more like. What's this little thing? Hello. I don't have any food to give him. So how do I swap this around mode? There we go. Ah, I need an advanced mining laser. Advanced mining laser. So it's unidentified mineral. Me 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 doing some analyzing. It's Nexonite. You're not the copper. Alright, let's keep searching. I might head over to... Uh, where is it? Not that. Where's that naming stone? Knowledge stone. How do I... L circle. L triangle to tag. There we go. Let's head on over there and see if we can find something on the way there. How's everyone doing? Draw a penis, says Angel V. Oh my god, I can't believe I didn't draw a penis. What the hell's wrong with me? It's like the first thing I normally would have done. I'm just too in awe at the uh, majesty of the blurs. Bing plong. Bing bong. There's a few people flying around. Not human players, I don't think. If anyone wants to come to Platform 32, the galaxy, feel free. Right, how do I... How do I get the visions of the gag? Pull to use. Oh, there we go. Hi, 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 hi. Voy, voy, voy. Stone resonates, producing a sound that fills my mind. A vision begins to take shape. Small alien knife form kneels before me. They are tired, beaten. Without meeting my gaze, they offer up their hand, accept the knowledge. The name Gek floats in my vision, an echo of a strange uh, an echo of a strange vision I just experienced. A word in this alien tongue is seared into my brain. I've learnt the Gek word for Gek. Meh. All right, well, we still haven't found any copper, friends. There's a hole down here, though. That's shit. That's shit, am I right? The annoying thing with moving in this uh, vision is there's the wobble factor of the UI. Subterranean relic. AKA loot, let's go. Are you copper? You're cobalt. Oh, what's this here? Oh, owie! Fuck you, go stupid douche. Okay, heading further down. Just scan again. Okay, these are alien relics. Right in front of me. What is it though? Pull to collect. A vortex cube. 
pull to collect. That's quite quite nice. Anyway, we've got some grassy structures underneath. That's neg site. There's no bloody there's no bloody copper on this planet. You're lying to me. I like that there's like an underground um field. Very alien. Unidentified mineral. Please be copper. Please be copper. Please be copper. God dang it! The hell is repipite? Wait! There it is! No. Oh, I got my hopes up then. I misread copper as carbon. It's got cobalt in it. Kill that little hazardous flora. Suck it, dickwad. What are you? Pure ferrite. Oh, you can run. You have to tap the right move button to run. Okay, so there's no bloody carbon in here. Yes, that's... Cobalt. Let's dig myself a way out. Up we go. Up we go. Ooh. Keep going. All the way up. All the way up. All the way up. Didn't have any of this fancy terrain deformation back when I played No Man's Sky. Lots of silica powder. Ships over there. There's not going to be any copper there, is there? Fuck off! Um, <laughs> you put your hand up here to do the thing, and then you press left trigger to get out of it. And then occasionally, if you press the move button too fast, it still thinks your hand's up there, and then it makes you uh, go back into the scan vision. Unidentified plant. Next sight. Shit, you're right. It's just a plant. It's not got copper. I wonder if I can do a bit of flying around to try and find some copper. All these minerals and things are... Um, are not what I need. I get these dihydrogen crystals though. They'll come in useful, I'm sure. the crystal fragment inventory analyze the crystal fragment what are these consume mm. tindins wait activate the terrain manipulator Use the analysis for a visor to locate deposits. Mm. Hmm. Copper is a large deposit you find in the ground. Copper is a deposit on the surface. There will be lots around if you scan the distance. Wait. Use 
use a scan and look for the circle markers to find copper mines. Okay. Cheers, guys. Uh, it's been a fair few years since I've played this game. It's changed a lot. Uh, circle markers. See that? Anyone did did I was I anywhere near any copper then? What's that there? Copper Yay! Holy shit nuts! Fuck off. Is that it? I think this might be it here. I think it's this. I think I'm stood on copper. Copper then. That's no, magnetized ferrite deposit. Where's the copper? Oh, it's all the way over there. Nope. Right. Triangle to tag. Let's do this. Let's go. It's 500 U's away, but that's no. That's no trouble for me. Not with my joggy legs. This is my spaceship. Hi, spaceship. Are you having fun over there? Poof. That's cool. I love the jaggedy kind of nature of those rocks there. Being able to look into, like, cave holes is very cool. Uh, I, I couldn't tell that was penis. Oh, it's too, too deep. It's a cave penis. Carbon plant. It's getting getting night getting daytime again. I'm glad that night time is a bit confusing. Oh, it's annoying. I just it's a bit annoying how blurry it is. I wanna oh, I want to be able to be like wowed by these things, but I'm just a bit like, what's that? Is it a spaceship? Is it a big leggy thing? Look at this. Is it angry, I wonder? I robot socio. Okay. Let's keep going. It's got a. Uh, it's got very long tusks. Hello. Hey you there, tusky boy. I can see right up its anus. Ooh. These little thingies. Cute. So many aliens. Got a bit of a run. Got my stamina up. Let's have a jog. Jogging. Nearly there. Finally get to find out what a copper deposit looks like. Doesn't look like a circle, that marker. Looks like a diamond. With a plus sign in the middle of it. Here we go. Oh. Yay! Come to me, copper. I'll get you, copper. I'll get you. All the copper. Mm, yummy, 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 yummy. Oh, please, please have enough copper. Yeah, plenty of copper. All right, I'm just scooping all this copper up because I, who knows when I'm going to find it again. You little coppery, yellow coppery bastard. Process the copper. Has that gone into a... I thought I'd found a cave down below, but the graphics just hadn't loaded. Process copper to create chromatic metal. Ah! Oh. 
bums. Hold on, a space hole. Come on. Oh, I'm out of the space hole. Whew. Nearly got caught in a space anus again. Right. Build menu. Portable refiner. Boop. Ah, okay. That worked. Begin refining. Fuel supply. And condensed carbon. Input. Uh, what was it I wanted to do? Copper. What's the copper? Copper. Bloop. Begin. 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 Alright, here we go. 17 seconds. And we'll be we'll be done. Let's have a look. It's that big sentient stool, says Dragon Botherer. There are many many living poops on planet poop have i named this planet i think it's ian it's ianopolis and it's populated by walking talking poops sounds about right okay we got it did we okay. reach over your shoulder then press Ah, to pick up your multi-tool. Okay, cool. Find a suitable area and deploy the base computer. Point at your left hand. Schmoop. Oh, maybe I should have done this closer to my base, actually. Shit. Oh, well. No pre prior claims on this site. Sonatus has confirmed site is suitable for construction. Okay, let's claim the base. base computer online. Nice. Use the computer with RT. Boink. Oh, that's a pretty flower. Close up, the leaves have got a nice little sheen to them. You see the colours a bit better. Uh, what's the entry say? Storm sweeping across Kjurkt, but construction supplies low. Depositing shelter plans or need to back soon. Extract plans. Yes, please. Wooden wall. Okay. Okay, base is... Whoa. It's giving me a lot of things. Whoa. Bases provide shelter from harsh planetary conditions. Recharging your hazard protection. As your base grows, it will grant many grant access to many advanced technologies. Go off my land! Expand your base by any new construction. None of this space building stuff was in the game when I played it when it first came out. Return to your base, store and process items as you explore. Construct a shelter for protection against hazards. Build foundations from wood floor panels. Point at your left hand, build menu. Wood floor platform. Hmm, okay, well, this is nice and easy. Oh, 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 one there, uh, one there, one there, and then we want door, we want door, can, door there, door there. Oh, I need more carbon. Oh, you nuts. Like that. Okay, got a roof. So I definitely need some more carbon. Okay, so how do you close this? Left. Go get some. Let's go get some carbon, baby. 
from the trees. Yeah, it's a lot more complicated using the move controllers, but it's a different experience. Ooh, raining. Um, I think once once you get used to the, the move controllers, it's probably going to be, well, it's definitely going to be a little bit more immersive. Um, I'm not going to lie, there were points where I was getting a bit frustrated, but, um, yeah, as I'm learning it, and it's, you know, I'm piecing, piecing it together in my uh, limited brain, starting to appreciate the freedom to move hands around and that kind of jazz, right. So, build, door, there. Do I have to build the door as well? Seem to be door, navigate down, decoration. Okay. Oh, the door is like a, the door's a. It's a a laser door. Let's see, like a force field. Okay. Habitation program initializing. How's my health? Doing all right. Return to base computer. Okay. Accessing log from previous loot user. Extraction a success. Recovered salvage data from nearby. All plans logged. Extract more plans. Let's do it. Let's get some more plans. Whoever recorded these plans evidently had some success. I have their plans. I have access to their plans, and perhaps I can learn from their efforts. Okay. So, build a portable blueprint research device. Okay. Expand your base by learning new construction blueprints. Dig up buried technology to earn new blueprints. Power your base. Use teleporters to instantly return to your base during your travels. Wow. Okay. This is somewhat different. I'm just killing that far because I keep going through it. Okay. So, construction research unit requires magnetized ferrite. So I need to build a attack a portable thing. God, there's loads of stuff going on now. Uh, right, ferrite dust in there. Fuel in there. Begin. Hey, I'm doing a learn thing. I'm doing a learn thing. Right. T T. Right. So into my poop shoot. Okay, there goes little wieners. Space wieners. I was just wondering, on the visuals, like, if it looks as blurry to you lot as it does to me. Yeah, kind of the same, I guess. Kind of the same. Alright. Wow, everyone's come to see my new house. No parties. My mum said I wasn't allowed any parties. Okay. Construction research unit requires magnetised ferrite. Place pure ferrite in the portable refiner's ah, fudge. Just as I thought it was going. Oh, no, right. Begin refining. There we go. So, need some more fuel. And then the ferrite I just made 
Oh wait, I've got mag I've got magnetized ferrite. I've got loads of it. So now what? Place pure ferrite. Pure ferrite. Dig in. Done. All right, craft nanotubes. Construction reset. Okay. So, inventory. And space here. Oh, I need more carbon for the nanotubes. Awesome. I've made a food pellet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give a food pellet to this weird penis. Hello. Seems nice. Oh! Oh, I've, oh, they're all hungry. Oh, God! Oh, I nearly stepped on a little one. Oh, there's loads of them. Oh, I don't... I've only made one food. Shit, I'm sorry, guys. I only made one food. Shit. Oh, no. Oh, they're, oh, they're really needy. Weapon charge depleted. Shit. Oh, how, how is it you do... Recharge with the quick menu. Recharge. Still need to recharge it though. Okay. The fuck off. Fuck off. Okay, here we go. All the carbons. More carbons, please. That weird line. Oh, I think the weird line draws to the center. There's a weird line that it just draws to the center of the tree. Okay, so we're harvesting trees. We're getting carbon to make carbon. We need carbon to make carbon. With that carbon, we're going to make more carbon. With that carbon, we're going to make some carbon nanotubes. What the hell is this? I've learned the gek worked for friend. Uh -huh. Bunch more carbon while I'm here. Right. Now. It is. Just gonna recharge my beam again. Boot. Right. Back. Inventory. Craft a. Shit. That's not what I needed. A nanotube. Do I have two nanotubes? I do. Deploy the construction research unit. Well, no. Let's go to my house first. Oh my god. Have they pooped? Have they pooped? Have the animals done pups? Yeah. What do I do with the animal pups? Oh, is it gone? Oh, I think the poops went. He must have... Must have faded away. Look at me. I'm <laughs> disappointed. I didn't manage to pick up a poo. Just like real life. 
This isn't virtual reality, this is real reality. Okay. So. Build menu. Construction research unit. There. Look how easy it is to place things. Okay, analysis unit online. Diagnostic selection. Users who recovered salvage data from buried technology. Equip and utilize an, an analysis visor. Okay. Base teleport module. Cool, that's a lot going on here, isn't there? Okay. Required parts. Insufficient sodium. So I need metal plating, carbon nanotubes, sodium. Explore the planet and locate buried technology. Nought of one. Activate the terrain manipulator. Buried treasure. Sorry, these headphones are really hurting my ears. It's like headset mic thing that I use. It's got good audio quality, but oh my god, it's the like least comfy headset to wear in the history of headsets. If I can move it off my ears slightly, that works. I just hover it on my helmet a bit. T he. Thanks for Luke's messages, anyone who's been sending them. I uh, haven't been able to check because I've been uh, deep inside the VR world. Okay, but any... Oh, that looks like a... Is that an angry one? A Mandracrimotis. Hmm. Okay. So we need to find some buried alien tech or something, don't we? Explore the planet and locate buried technology. Activate the terrain manipulator. This guy, though. There's no secondary missions. Expand your base. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go and get my bait. Let's go and get my ship, and then maybe I'll be able to find something what I need closer. Boop. Oh, I don't see any buried technology here, lads. It's wheat. By my ship, there were loads of holes in the ground, weren't there? So maybe that's what I need. So it's quite, quite chill at the moment. Quite relaxing. Silent, like very quiet guitar strings. Looking around. I'm looking around. Yeah, we could go back. I bet if I go back in that cave, there'll be something. Dun -dun -dun. It's Ianopolis, sixteen point five degrees C. Not very radioactive. That's pretty, uh... I don't know. You've got a lot of life. For, for a moon. Uh... 
go let's go over in, in this hole here have a look see <laughs> the lucky floor Ooh. Ah. okay the fuck off. right let's try this again What's that yellow thing there? Subterranean relics. Maybe this. Maybe this is what I need. That's 47 away. That's 64 away. Let's go for this one. Nope. Not what I needed. What's that? Oh, that's my base. Copper deposit. Fucking what? Ah! So annoying. Okay, we got. Oh, it's just another one of these things. This isn't buried technology. Jesus, this is not the very technology you're looking for. Hazardous flora. Subterranean relic. I wonder if I can spot buried technology from above if I f fly my ship. I haven't done any ship flying with the dual shot controllers yet, so maybe I should try that. I'm trying to read them. No one's getting angry at me and work it trying to tell me where the uh, very technology is yet. So uh, I guess it's not as easy to find as carbon. I'm going to get in my ship and have a little. Fly. I'm going to try and fly my ship to my base. See how that works out for for everyone. See if it makes me feel as uh, as weird and wobbly as. It did at the press event. Okay. There we go. Dig my way out. Some more silicate powder. But yeah, like, it's flying the ship and stuff, nice and easy uh, with the DualShock 4. Very simple to use. Absolutely no problems. Here, maybe, things might be a little bit more wonky. So, right trigger to hold on to thing. To get out, you hold that and you lift. And that's you out of your ship. So there's a bit more physicality in interacting with your objects in the ship. But So I hold that, I hold that, and then... Ooh, whoa, shit, son. Oh, fuck a duck. All right, what the... Oh, oh. Is it? Oh, this is. Oh, that's. Oh. Uh. Okay. It's very, uh. Very sensitive. Just like me. Here we go. If I put, oh, it's not. Ah, oh, okay. That's that's why I'm getting confused. It's not like properly. Uh, it's it's the inversion's the wrong way round. Control options. Flight controls need to be normal, not inverted. For once. Try this again. So now back should be. Oh, you big bastard! 
<laughs> well now back should be up and instead of the opposite. At least I landed next to my base. So what do I need for launch fuel? Thrusters. Starship launch fuel. Created from crystallized dihydrogen. Uranium. Okay, well... Where's my bloody dihydrogen? Why can't I make launch fuel? Metal plating. Why can't I make metal plating? I need ferrite dust. Oh my god. Okay, mode. Pure ferrite in it. Oh, I need an advanced mining laser. There we go, some ferrite dust. This is showing me what I need, so I need eight more ferrite dust. Come to me, come to me. Come to me, come to me. Okay, I reckon that's enough. So then, inventory. Craft. Metal thing. Craft. Fuely. Craft. Oh, fuck it. That should be enough. Go away! Oi! Oi! Get off my ship! Bloody kids! Okay. So, inventory. Launch thruster. Launch fuel. Here we go. Right, let's try again with the taking off. So, yes! That's the bo that's the badger. Because your uh, move controllers are not like really attached to anything, it does feel a little bit weird. Your hands like they're gripping a thing here, but your hands kind of just move forwards a bit. But Whee! how do you do a barrel roll? Oh, oh fuck me! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Well, that might take a little bit of getting used to. Is that a volcano? No. Whoa. Oh, can I? I wonder if I can. F Where is it? I wonder if I can fly down the middle of it. Oh, fucking hell. Alright. Chill out, mate. Where are you going? Right, this way. Right, back. And... Oh, no. Can't fly down the middle of it. It's not a tunnel. It's. A, I was getting... Uh, Empire Strikes Back space worm vibes from that. Sadly, it wasn't to be. Can I do the scan here? No. Yikes. Okay. All right, where's my base? Getting kind of getting the hang of it now. And to activate the landing, it's X. Hey! Oh shit! I crashed into my house. Oh no! Oh, my mum's gonna kill me. and stuff. What are these things? Quick transfer, quick send inventories. Geode. I think analyze the geode. There we go. Interesting. Interesting. 
Okay, so I need to explore the planet again. Oh, I need to get myself comfy. Oh. Mammoth VR streams are a little bit hurty on the ears when you've got uncomfortable headphones. Is this an update or a new game, says Storm Rider? This is an update for No Man's Sky. But I've started a, a fresh, and it feels like a new game because so much has been added. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. Right, let me just have a drink and then I'll try and find this buried bullshit. What the fuck is that? I crashed my spaceship into my house. Right, so. Three minute play. What's that? So I don't see any buried technology. Uh, I guess we'll just go for a walk, huh? It's a lovely day. Lovely day for a little walk. What the hell is that? Ew. Oh, that spaffed all over me. Gross. Okay, it's carbon. Might as well do some... I know. Fly by harvesting of shit as we go. Hey! Fly by harvesting. Magnetized ferrite, this is. Well, this is not the uh, buried technology I'm looking for, but. Who cares? I'm depositing my load. Ow. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Walk very slowly when you're in this. Knowledge stone. Milestone completed. I've travelled 8,000 U. What's that there? That's some cogs. What's a cog? It's, it's... Maybe this cog is some, but look, that sounds, it looks like it might be some technology, doesn't it? Bloody better be. Oops. Big hole in the floor there. Buried technology. Mm. Whee! Oh, birdies. Okay, what are you? What are you? Damaged machinery. Sodium nitrate. None of five. I don't. Is that what I need? This, no, it's not. I, I'm looking for buried technology, not broken shit. Or 
What's that? Abandoned object. Is it a triangle? No. That, no. That one, there you go. Copy deposit. Damaged machinery. Knowledge stone. Oh, the, what's that over there? That's it. There! Berry technology. Let's go and get the treats first. Let's go and get some loot first. There's some dihydrogen. Dihydrogen, not so. stuff. Mm, mine, mine, mine. We'll go get the loot. Oh, crystal fragment. Mm -hmm. Right, what have we got here? Mine. Nothing found. Mine. Nothing found. No, projectile ammunition. Mine. Sodium. And mine. Projectile ammunition. Okay, right. Buried technology module. This is it. Got the terrain manipulator. Got my destination. This is it, kids. This is exploration. This is this is how you do it. Why am I? Why am I? Why am I? I'm hot, there we go. It's kind of, I feel like I'm crab walking a bit to the left. I still am. Why I'm going sidestepping slightly. Well, two hundred U. Another one of them big. Turds. Okay, here we go. 160. What's it going to be? Hello. It's a giant, giant hole in the ground. Love it. I love shit. Yeah, so I think if you're coming into this game new can be a bit overwhelming. I'm coming into this game like second hand new and it is a little bit overwhelming especially using the uh, the DualShock move controllers but it's uh, the sense of discovery is still awesome. Wait have I... Oh it, oh, it is actually buried. Cool. Okay let's unearth this little Lovely thing. Got it. Spend the salvage data at your construction research unit. Okay, return to your construction research unit. A superheated rainstorm? Oh, shit. That's not what I want to hear. How far away is my thingy? Oh, I guess I could build a cave to hide in. Oh, let's run. Of course. So, no storm yet. Love that. The rings of that planet. Very pretty. Oh no, here comes the rain. Here come the hot rain now. Murder it. It's burning my skin now. Murder it. Oh wow, it is very hot, isn't it? <gasps> Oh shit. Yeah, oh yeah, my thermal protection is... Wow, it's like raining, boiling... Well, mega boiling water. So can I do this and then just hide from the rain or is that... Oh yeah, there we go. I'll just, I'll be... I'll screw space travel. I've become a mole man. I'm a mole man. This is my new life now. The life of a mole man. Oh. It was, until I ran out of bit. Okay, quick menu. Manipulator. Continue moling! Continue moling! Have a look at the tunnel I've drawn. Oh, this is awesome. 
<laughs> I do like that. It's going to take me a little while to get there this way, but... Ow. Oh, you can just stand there and kind of burn holes. And I love the fact that I've just... <laughs> to get away from the weather, I've just toddled all the way through the, the landscape. That's so cool. Is it still raining, do you think? Probably is. Let's try and get back up to the surface. Sounds like it's still raining. There we go. Back out. Oh, it is still raining, but we cut out a lot. Oh, fucking hell. Nearly mined through giant turd boy. That was cool. I, lo I love being able to manipulate the, ter uh, the, ter uh, the, 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 the terrain in this. So awesome. Don't you spooge on me again. Okay, looks like we're uh, good for the weather now. Night time. Rain stopped. Ow! Some of the plants on this planet. Okay. What now? Spend the salvage data at a construction research point. That's one of these. I've parked my bloody ship on it. I bet can I oh, can move my ship. Oh yeah. yep. Okay, we whoa. Let's land this mother. Away from my base slightly now. There we go, that's better, that's better. Okay. Out we go. Alright, there we go. Now I should be able to fiddle with my box without anyone judging me. Okay, so it's like a fruit machine. There we go. Right. Analysis unit online. Diagnostic suggestion. Users should recover salvage data from buried technology. Equip and utilize an analysis visor. Oh, I don't like that. I can make these. Carbon. That's what framed panel. Insufficient salvage modules. What am I going to be doing? Spend the salvage data at construction to learn new construction. Buildable technology. Teleporter. There we go. I built a teleporter. Okay. Or have I built it? No, I've, I've, I've got a blueprint. Okay. So... Uh, general? Teleporter. Uh, need four metal plating, two nanotubes. Okay, wow. Jesus, fussy. Alright, inventory. Suit. Can I make two of them? I can. Excellent. So, out of that, into the build menu. General, that. Got two of them, so I need four metal plating. Okay. Do I have space in here now? I don't think I do. Can I, how do I move quick transfer square to Starship? No, Starship out of range. Oh, you little fuck. Alright, I can put a. Okay, I need lots more ferrite dust. So I need a bunch more ferrite dust to make the metal. I need to make four metal plates. But I don't think I've got enough room in my invent inventory to do it. So I just need to try and move some of this crap 
like what's that navigation data Let's transfer that to my starship uh, let's transfer the carbon to my starship um, I'll, I'll eat some pulpy roots why not that's given me four spaces so now let's go find some ferrite. So I need to change that to my mining laser. And then I need to find some smaller rocks because this is a bit weak. And I need like, is it like 50 ferrite dust for a metal thing? So I think I'm going to need about 200 ferrite. Mining beam. Oh no, it just overheated or something. Okay, back, back, inventory. Gonna craft a metal plate. Can I craft it? Oh, hold on. Craft more. You need 23 ferrite dust to craft metal plating. Cannot build missing components. So yeah, I need more ferrite. Okay. So maybe I c maybe I can pile them up. Actually, I think you can stack them. I didn't realise you couldn't stack them. You could stack them. But it looks like you can. So let's keep schnaffling that ferrite as much as we can to get as because I want to get all the ferrite for all the metal platings. Six, six, ten. Let's have a look. So, inventory. Craft more. That's two. Craft another. That's three. Can I craft one more? No. I'm missing nine more ferrite dust. Okay. Here we go. Here's some. Here's some. Ferrite dust. Okay, inventory and craft one. There we go. Okay, that's four. Now, fuck off. Pressing left trigger, cock. <laughs> okay, back down here we go. Now, I'll place the teleporter. I wonder if I can place the teleporter inside my base. Let's find out, shall we? So, build menu, tech, general, teleporter, holy shit. Ah. Uh, there we go. I built a stargate inside my base. Nice. Okay, your base can be renamed. Interact with your base computer. Base computer in the place computer to rename your base. Uh, let's call it. Oh, that's. Oh, fucking hell. Alright. Uh, delete? Square? How do you move it? Oh, ooh. Uh, uh, how do you make how do you make capitals? It says L two, but that's not doing it. And if I could, uh, um, L two plus triangle. That's not doing anything. L two. I've called it Titch. I was going to call it Titch Towers, but fuck it. Actually, base screenshot. 
uh, yeah. Our trigger to take the screenshot. No, L trigger to cancel. Uh, catch a base screenshot. Right trigger, take screenshot. Not doing anything. Left trigger, cancel. Upload base. Let's try that. Okay, cool. Okay, nice. New mission, powering the base. Learn the biofuel reactor. Holy shit. I want to fly. just want to go into the space. Supply power to the base teleport module. Select powering the base in the mission module. Oh, it's already been selected. Okay. Oh. How's it going, y'all? Ah. Do let me know if you ever stumble across Titch Base 1. On your on your travels, maybe you'll come past the Higton Galaxy and stumble across Titch Base One. Uh, all right, what's the deal here? I this this is okay. Log guide. Learn about advanced technology requires power modules to run. It's buildable technology. Learn the biofuel reactor. Learn base modules of the construction. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Biofuel reactor. Save beacon. Biofuel reactor. Okay. I need one. I need. I need to find another salvage data. Buy plans for one. So, okay. So, basically, I need to go and get more ferrite, and I need to search for more hidden bullshit. Harvest flora. Well, I don't see any uh, markers that way. There's a house that way. Hmm. Hey! Let's go this way. Let's go this way. I mean, I could take my ship. Should I take my ship? Let's just fly my ship. Let's just fly my ship to a random place on this, this uh, planet and hope I get lucky with some buried salvage what's it? Data. That'd be nice, won't it? There's definitely nothing buried near here. Meow. Debris is over there. Show me the debris again so I can mark it. There we go. Ah. There we go. I'll fly over to that debris and have a look. Over there. Hopefully I've got fuel left. <coughs> in this ship. Let's find out. Yeah. Launch thrusters are only... Oh, they're at 25% now. Okay, where was that? Oh, the debris is well close. What? That wasn't that far away. Fuck it. I'm going to go a little bit further. So we're, we're at full boost at the moment, flying over the planet. Okay, getting the hang of the flying now. You don't have to hold on to the thruster the whole time, which helps. You can just push it forward and then leave it there. Ancient plaque. Ooh, that was a, that was a turn and a half. Okay, so slow right down. And okay, well, 
Uh, an ancient plaque, that sounds like a cool place to go and, how do, there we go, go and check out, right? And maybe they'll be arriving one hour. If I'm walking, it'll take me an hour to get there. That's crazy. Right, lift the lid, and we're out. So, might as well, might as well get some ferrites while I'm out and about, because it seems like ferrites are pretty useful in this game. Yeah, so I haven't felt like nauseous or anything playing this at the moment. It's really good. It's really good. Knackered now, though. Out of breath. Right. What have we got here? Ooh. Beep beeps. <coughs> oh, I can't read that. That's in the ground. I convulse as I reach out and touch the beautiful stone marker, my mind filling with a deadly knowledge of the true history of the Gek. We are the masters of the galaxy, the overlords of the cosmos. Each foe will submit with bended knee to the almighty Gek dominion. All right, all right. We are the first spawn. Look upon our works and despair. Seek help with language. Seek knowledge of the... Let's seek some knowledge of the past. Historical data revealed. Okay, so it's showing me in the location of an ancient ruin. But it's going to take me like bloody ages to walk there. So I guess we'll fly there in a, in a bit. Any more buried, buried shite? More buried shite around? There's a cargo thing. Oh, hold on. There we go. Some buried shite right there. What's that yellow thing? Okay, no. Fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go find this buried shite. Oh, it's okay. Okay. Ooh. So it looks like there's a. Uh, it's a bit of a purple splodge at the moment, but it looks like there's kind of like a forest up there. Go find out what this yellow thing is. Yeah, it's quite. That was quite cool. Like just coming over the ridge and seeing like a a forest in front of me. It's these yellow things, floating crystal. What are these then? What are these bad boys? What are you for? Tetra Cobalt. Oh. Advanced mining laser needed. I haven't got the a wet weak wet one. Keep going. Another big shaft over there. We're getting close to the uh, the, the data. Boink. Yeah, if you, I think if you like survival games, then this is pretty much now. Now it's had all these updates and stuff. It's pretty much the survival game of, like, champions. <laughs> There's so much going on here and so much to do. And the fact that you can visit, like, whole galaxies is, is nuts. I can imagine it being a bit tedious for people who don't like survival games. I used to love survival games, but I did get... I, I played so many of them that I got a bit sick of them. Uh, this has quite, you know, a unique twist to it, though, which I quite like. Um, it'd be cool to do, like to run into some other people in VR. But the galaxy is so massive. The chances of that are very slim, I think. I don't even know how people would know how to find me. So my ship's over there. I 
figure I'm going to have to build more fuel soon. So if we go inventory and go here, can I build one? Can I make any more? Can I make another? Yeah, can I make another? Can I make another? No, no. I've got four of them. That's, that works. Okay, so ship's over there. More creepy alien ships. I wonder if they, uh, I wonder if they know I'm here. I wonder if they're keeping an eye out for me, or they're just, you know, having a little bit of a, a tour. Ooh. Definitely gonna have to check out the ancient ruin, though. Off you go, you big shit fiend. Can't believe. All the bloody planets. I get given the one where the inhabitants look like poo poo. Okay, here we go. There we go. Yeah, oh, it's much easier when you don't, when you realise you don't have to hold on with your left hand. You just push it to forward, and then when you want to do it again, what the? It was like a. What was that? Steady up. There we go. Shit. Alright, I need to slow it down. That's what I forgot to do. Where was that? There was a structure I... I flew past. Where the fuck's it gone? Is it that? It's hard to tell. It's so bloody blurry. I think it's that there. Yeah. Should we go and have a look at this before we head to that ancient... Okay, so land is this one, I think? Yeah. Very cool landing on an alien world, though. Uh, let's quickly go into my inventory and. Uh, can I craft a ship launch fuel? Can I make another? No. Nope. Need more dihydrogens. But I've got a ship fuel, so that's good. Right, where was this thing? Here it is, look. It's, no, this wasn't it. I thought I saw a much bigger base. I mean, this is something, but it's not the thing I flew over. I might be able to get something from here. Some... what? N maybe not. Fuck all in that one. Uh, what about in here? Got anything for me? Ooh. What's that? That's nothing. That's the thing. I've uh, got some nanites. Yay. And that's some carbon. Yay. What's this here? Oh, here we go. Let's, oh, that's set a thing off. Da Davin Meadow. Inventory full. That's not good. Health at maximum. Okay, back to the ship. That was, uh... Yeah. Wasn't the best little discovery mission, to be honest. Give me some fair right, you crazy bastard. What's my scan button again? Is it that one? No. Is it that one? No. Is it that one? There it is. I need more dihydrogen crystals. I thought that might be them. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Yoink, 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 yoink. Okay. Here we go. It's my spaceship. A radiant pillar. Okay. Do I have enough takeoff fuels? Bastard. Okay. And craft 
useful. Cannot build missing component. Quick transfer to the... No. That's right. Oh, no, I've put it in the thruster, right? There we go. All right. Oh, crap. Oh, it wasn't, didn't want to hang around there, did it? Wait, is that it? There is a thing down there. Like, what's this? This is a little circly. What is that thing? This is interesting. Come on, man. Am I landing on... Did I just land on it? Is it a landing pad? I think it might have been a, I think it have been a landing pad or something. What's this thing here? What is it? Cool starship. What the? Okay, I'm not sure. I've gone off exploring and now I'm getting myself into all kinds of crazy shit. Hello. Can I... Reinforce door. I must have to shoot it off or something. Sodium. Ooh. Oh! Robots. I think I can hear. The robots were bad, I seem to remember. Yeah, there's a... Mm. Oh yeah, the robots were bad. Well, they weren't always bad, but... I've been killed by robots before in this game, so let's... Let's leave those shitty little digital pricks. Let's go. Okay, right. Ruins. Ruins. There's loads of shit going on over here, look. There's another basey type thing. That must be a landing site. Okay. Here's the ancient ruin. Okay, so that's manned, that's <laughs> Uh, I love looking out of the windows. It's great. Right, out we get. Right, what have we found? What have we found here? This is an ancient ruin. Mm, that's done. Not much. Ugh. Well, oh, oh, what's that there? Gravi gravitino ball. Well, fuck. I want a. I want a gravitino ball. What can I get rid of? Well, I think I can analyze that. It's annoying how the. I can analyze the geodes. Okay, that's got rid of some stuff. What can I do with the rusted junk? Don't know. Consume an edible plant. Fuck it. New item. Gravine. So oh, shit. Okay, now I've, I've I've angered them. I guess they didn't want me to touch their balls. Can I have that? No. Kill shit. Sounds like they're close. Yep. Up yours, robo pricks. Don't know where they've gone. Fuck them. Ow. No, they're hurting me. Whee! Can I get out while I'm flying? No. Okay, to my base. Back to the base. That's my base. 
Lovely base. Still searching for me. Oh, oh, it's a bit wobbly when you do that. Not the best at flying yet. Baby steps here. Baby steps. Nice. It feels cool as fuck flying in VR. Boop. Oh, that's got the landing button wrong now. Down we go. Come on. Oh, not upside down. Down we go. Downwards. That's it. This way. This way. This way. And oh, I keep forgetting to. I keep forgetting to slow myself down. Is what I'm doing wrong. Oh, I think in my panic I mashed the landing button. New guide entry unlocked. Defensive systems. I don't care. Okay, my base is all over there. Carbon off that unidentified plant. There's some more rocks over here. Yoink. What's that lighting up the, the plant? Okay, I seem to be knackered. This ferrite dust is well useful in this game. Ferrite dust and the oxygen shit seems to be. Sometimes it stops walking. Okay. Here's the base. Right. So, what's the next step? Learn biofuel reactor. Yeah, get it. Oh, I got it. Thanks. Buildable technology. Biofuel reactor. Okay, got that. Now I need some oxygen. So each one of these things I need to find salvage data for. I need to find five salvage data for that one for a health station. Don't need salvage data for that one though. So electrical wiring, okay. Eight salvage data, three salvage data. Then salvage data for the you need salvage data to learn about making wood. Lame. There's metal shelters. So. Oh. Whoops. Learn how to make a metal wall. Okay, right. So I need to find some oxygen now. So. No, it's not that one, is it? It's this one? No, it's this one. There's some. Uh, change that to the mining gun. Get some oxygen. Oxygen 18. Is that enough, I wonder? Scanner's still charging. Let's find out though. Let's go to the build menu and it'll be tech, power, uh, biofuel. No, I need 40 oxygen. All right. Okay, so let's keep looking for oxygen. What's that over there? Some of the hydrogen stuff. Let's get the hydrogen stuff, that always comes in useful, right? Yum yum yum. Yum 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 yum
Have I already... S I, I wonder if I've already seen this one. What's that? Carbon. Carbon. I think this is lit up like I've maybe already done it. There's a chest there, though. Can I? Yeah, I guess I've done that one. Damage container. Eh... Uh, yeah. Sodium. And more sodium. Uh, scan. Give me some O2, you fuck. Well, is this some more of the hydrogen -y stuff? Let's go this way then. Get all the dihydrogen for the boosters, right? What's the shieldy thing? Showing. Okay, scoop all this up and then continue my search for oxygen. Scanner boff. Nothing oxygen y in here. Maybe there'll be something around here because there's a lot of a lot of plants and things. Oh what's that? What this? Nothing found. Check time ammunition. Don't have a gun yet, but I'm sure it'll come in useful when I finally do. Scan. No oxygen. More of this though, don't mind if I do. Technology recharged. Go away. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to lose myself in this game a bit now. Getting my, get myself, you know, little plans in my head. Things I've got to search for. I'm getting used to the uh, the dual shot controls. It's definitely easier to play this. Uh, I'm getting used to the move controls. It's definitely easier to play this using the dual shock 4. But um, now I know what's going on I still have it's still a little bit like fiddly occasionally that's the uh, perils of motion control but it just feels like a little bit more like you're uh, you're in the game if you do it like this aha what is that there though silicate powder oh, my inventory's full again I need to build a good suit that doesn't have shitty pockets. That's what I need. Okay, we've got two O2 plants over here. Quite a distance from my base and my ship now. This one. Oxygen rich plant. 16 from that. 31 from that. Can I do a making? Wait, what have I got? Inventory. Uh, exosuit. Come on. Exosuit. Jesus Christ. Uh, oxygen 49. Alright, sweet. That's, I only needed 40. So let's head back to my base again. Whee! <laughs> One of the things that light up, like those little objects that light up, I wonder if they're like important things, like oxygen and stuff. I don't know. Oh! Is my exosuit bust? Is that why that shield thing's there? Have I broke my exosuit somehow? I think I, I, think I might have done. Exosuit. How do you do a repair of that? Uh, 
quick menu. Repair. Protection. It's my hazard protection. It's fully charged. Uh, life support's fully charged. It's fully charged. I don't know. Don't know. Hmm, more of this stuff though. I do know that I like the dihydrogen crystals. Nom, 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 nom. UI power tut mask to A. Don't know what that means. Okay, not far away from my base now. I'm just going to see what this orange light thing is. Is it a, an oxygen? Oh, it's a sodium plant. There's my base, there's my ship. Didn't have to go too far, really, did I? Okay, come on, come on, come on. Bloody knackered. Right, so. Build menu. We are finally going to be able to build a power, uh, power, power, biofuel, reactor, put it that side. To create a power grid, select electrical wiring, tech, power, power wiring uh, nuts I didn't read the thing wiring one power to two power fuel the bio reactor okay so get out of that Bio tank. Fuel depleted. With organic elements. Carbon. Carbon. Okay. Let's go in. And that's going to go for what? One minute. So now what? Use a quick menu to summon your ship. menu summon freighter summon radiant select location oh ooh, there Norse it comes hello that was quick what a good ship what a good ship right, log updated return to base computer Accessing log from previous user. Additional archives recovered. Okay. Unusual broadcast. <coughs> repeating 16 <coughs> from the space station. <coughs> Warning. End of archive. <coughs> base computer archives have reached their end. It seems there is nothing more I will learn from them. My predecessor appears to have left their base and headed to the space station. North. Does that mean we get to go into space again? Investigate the space station, following the footsteps of the base computer's previous owner. Ah. Uh, so I just leave my base here. Oh, I'll just, just run out. Of, don't run out of power. Fuck it. Fuck it. I was going to dismantle my whole base, but I can't be asked. All right. So launch into the sky. Space station off planet. Here we go. Whoa. My headphones just fell out. It's flying through slightly through the atmosphere of this moon. Okay, let's get out into space. Now how do we do How 
How do we do super fun? Right, L, move to engage boost. Okay, so I hold that, boost, yeah. Okay, pilot towards station marker and engage pulse drive with LX. Okay, uh, LX is that one? Maybe. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. My base is on the sun. What the fuck? I just. I lifted up my visor and all of a sudden. I think that's. I think my base was actually a sun. Okay, so. Press L square to scan. Okay, pulse engine, there we go. L squared to scan. Oh, that, that's... Okay, it's selenium, copper, phosphorus, sodium. It's a high temperature planet. The space station must be on the opposite side of this planet, though. Unless it's orbiting this planet. A bit of a rest in my space hands. How's everyone doing in there? So what I'm seeing colours is fuck. Oh. Refuel post pulse engine with tritium or pyrite. Hold R to mine asteroids. Ah, okay. So these are, uh, is, it, is it these asteroids you think? I think it might be. Is it any asteroids? Really, uh, really quite floaty, the ship. It's not as precise with the move as the dual shock is. I need to go a bit further forwards. Lots of valuable space materials from here. Overheat. Do we get stuff from those ones as well? Let's get gold. Oh, I love gold. Okay. Refuel pulse engine. So is that gonna is that gonna have done me now, do you think? Does it do it automatically? Let's find out. Pulse engine unavailable, no so. Ventry, Starship, Pulse Engine, Tritium. Okay. Technology recharged. go. Pulse baby. Boom. And we're off to the space station once again. Well, not much fuel remaining though. Six percent. Five percent. So blurry. I need more fuel. Wow. Okay, well, we're, uh, We're in the space. I don't remember the fuel lasting such a short amount of time in the previous one, but uh, when I previously played it back in the day, but there you go. Gold nugget. Any tritium coming out of this? I've just got, a, you know, I'm not going to complain. I love gold. But. Oh, there was some tritium. What was that then? Something about missiles. So I guess it's any old 
any old uh, asteroid might have what I need in it. I thought it was just the uh, spiky red ones, but all of these are giving me different types of loot. There's uh, a bit of tritium, a bit more tritium. Tonight's the trites tonight. Whoa. So, back in the old inventory. Back to the pulse engine. Get that tritium in there. Oh, there's a load of tritium in there now. Okay. Back onto that. Back onto this bullshit. Boom. Let's go. And sit back and relax. Ah. Ah, space dab. seconds ish there it is there's the space station probably should uh, pick my hands back up again it might it's all fuck okay yeah it does slow down for me nice following the footsteps okay is there a This way I need to fly in. Oh, is that a wall? Nope, that's a wall. I'm on the wrong side of the space station. <laughs> so I need to go around the outskirts of the space station then. Who built this massive ball? Oh. This is, well, this is quite the sight in VR, that's for sure. Crikey. Look at me. Space station on one side. Planet on the other. Rock music blaring out my speakers. Into the space station we go. Initiate docking procedure. We're in the stay station. It's at half nine. So start half half eight. Six, six, six. Okay, I've been going for like three hours now, so I'll probably will start winding up in a sec. Let's have a look in the. Uh, let's explore the space station first, huh? The space stations used to be very, very empty places, but nowadays there's a lot more aliens on here. Hello. What are you saying? Poi, Razuli, Don Petrogan, Nergen, Dergen. The alien, large and intimidating, seems to be attempting to be friendly. Perhaps they know the one who came before me. Ask about other travellers. The alien draws back, startled. The look on their faces tell me our conversation is over. Oh. A computer. Oh wow, this, this station terminus teleporter. This is the spaceships are, are much more different to uh, like how they used to be. Much more life. It's, it's very blurry again though. Still, hello. Regressive. Don't know what you're saying, mate. Cyphon clearly occupies an important position in this station. At first glance, they do not seem particularly interested. Let's ask about another traveller. No look of recognition passes. Oh. Okay, well. You can get fucked there, mate. Gold nugget acquired. Locate the gold nugget in the inventory. Analyze. What the? Come on, someone's got to know the one who came before me. Hello. Re 
Pete 16. Oh, we are watching you, traveler friend. Find what we have left you. Though the alien speaks the words not their own, a string of code has echoed back to me through the red glare. The crimson light fades away. I see the life form blink at me expectantly. Whatever has happened, they do not appear to have seen it. I should leave. Perhaps my base computer will be able to make something of this code. Okay, so space station it is. Every space station has... As every system has a space station serving as its hub. Speak to life force board the station, brings chance to trade, learns words, or gains standing. Visit technology merchants, visit directions, take missions from mission agent, lose the teleport to instantly return to your base. Ooh. But my base isn't plugged in. Uh, temporary restricted. Temporarily restricted to the in-system teleportation. Titch. Let's teleport to Titch. This game must be doing some hardcore maths right now. I put it's still got some charge to the other end, otherwise I'm going to hit a brick wall at the end of this. This is quite intense on the eyes. Bloody hell, oh, would have been quicker flying there. same behind it is in front. I'll tell you what, I've been playing this for like three hours now and it hasn't crashed once. I've heard of a lot of people saying that it's crashed for them, but uh, not for me. Oh, are we there? We're here. Oh, oh my god, I'm in the door. Back on Ianopolis. Nice. Alright, well I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna wind it up here. I've been uh, I've been staring at blurry scenery for about three hours now. I've probably damaged my eyes irreparably. Uh, but yeah, I it's uh, it's good. It's No Man's Sky in VR. It's everything I could have wanted except for um, it's blurry as fuck. I uh, I hope that they can get a patch to sort it out. So the resolution's higher, because to be honest, playing it like this with blur is a bit, it's, it's just tiring on the eyes, it really is. My eyes are constantly trying to focus on stuff that isn't focusable. So uh, yeah, a bit of eye strain maybe, but it's great. I, I loved going into space, flying the spaceships, awesome. Uh, there's so much more to do and see now, it feels like a just feels like a brand new game compared to the game I played back in the day when it released. Uh, I will definitely be returning to this to play some more uh, and I'll be doing a bit more of a concise thoughts and you know first impressions and reactions video for this on Sunday's Ian's VR Corner on Eurogamer. Uh, I've been capturing all the footage of this. Uh, as I've been going so uh, I've got plenty of stuff to choose from so uh, yeah thank you so much everybody for watching this has been Ian's VR streaming corner I've been playing No Man's Sky VR it's a free update if you've already got No Man's Sky No Man's Sky has been pretty cheap recently it was on sale not too long ago it might still be uh, it's totally worth getting, even if you don't plan on playing it in VR, because it's just such a big, awesome game. Um, and yeah, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed they can sort out the blurriness, because uh, if they do, then this will be well up there as one of the best VR games you can play on the PlayStation VR for sure, for sure. So, thanks all for watching. Have a great night, my friends, and I'll see you soon here on Platform 32. B -b 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 Bye. <laughs>